What's going on, Virgos? Thank you to everyone. Like, share, subscribe if you purchased a reading or if you donated to my page. Thank you so much. This energy could be masculine or feminine. Place it on whatever side you need to. Okay, for those of you that are interested, okay, the WTF readings are posted. Um, so if you want to know about the karmic energy, the divine masculine, divine feminine, um, go on over there and check those out. Um, also, uh, the full readings for divine masculine and divine feminine are also up, okay? Um, just going to lay these cards down and we're going to talk about them, Virgo. Okay, so there's going to be some sort of offer or someone's going to offer you um, something here and it's going to cause you to be very guarded, okay? Um, I feel like what someone's going to offer you is a relationship or some sort of proposal having to do with a relationship and I'm not thinking a marriage proposal but some sort of agreement having to do with a relationship, okay? Um, the Spirit is saying that this is a test for you, okay? Because the universe is watching to see if you're ready or not to have something different in your life or to have everything the way that you would like for it to be, okay? This is the test here that's coming towards you that lets the universe know that you're ready to move forward on and upward, right? So you're being called to move defensively, tactively, you know, with this person, you know, because, yeah, I feel like the energy is off, right? This person uh, doesn't like that you're distant from them. This is a skull there lets me know this is a relationship that ended. Um, they feel now that you're brand new or that you're doing other things in your life um, to where you um, are are being false, okay? So, like, if things change for you or... If you're moving, you know, like say you move to a new place, you know, they can see your new house and they're like, oh, oh, you think you all that now. If you got a new job, they may feel like, you know, you're you're moving a little differently. OK, uh, yeah, this person could be paying someone um, to check into your energy. OK, uh, they could be telling people that you're you're mentally unstable as well. OK, um, and if this was a person that said that you were mentally unstable, this is the reason why you're you're not around them or this is why you parted the energy. OK, um, I feel like this is a person that kicks your back in behind your back, but they'll tell people that you're different. OK, we have Knight of Wands here. This is someone could be a Scorpio, could be a Sagittarius. I have this in the chart, some sort of fire sign for others of you, okay? This is a, a person that's very, um, very passionate, but they move very hastily, okay? This is an un, unreliable person, or they were unreliable in your relationship. So meaning you were not getting what you needed from this person, okay? It was random, okay? They had a really in and out personality as well, okay? Um... They don't like the things that are going well with you right now, okay? They don't like that your confidence is different than when you were with them. Um, this is a person that flirts a lot with other people, right? And they like sexual freedom. So spirit is going to have you. The, your test here is going to be you making a judgment call on if you want to take this person back or not, Libra energy, okay? You're going to have to judge everything, spirit is saying, you know, go through everything with a fine tooth comb and figure out what it is that you want. All right. Um, even though you have an emotional bond with this person, I feel like your real goal is to hold out for someone that checks all your boxes. Two of Cups. Cancer could be someone that um, is significant or, or cancer could be significant here uh, so around in your energy. Right. You're really looking for... Um, 
like a mutual connection, something or someone that you could be friends with and lovers, okay? And this could be what you're holding out for. Although you felt like this could have been that person as well, uh, but, but it turned out a little different, okay? Um, so with this distance that you you uh, caused between the two of you, um, this person feels like you're already in a relationship. They feel like you're working on something with someone else, Eight of Pentacles energy, okay? They feel like you done changed up. You done changed your life. You done got your money right. You could have got a new place to live or move to a different place as well. You could be in a different uh, profession. And they feel like, you know, you could be uh, focusing your energy on someone else. Eight of Pentacles is Virgo. This is you, okay? Um, um, the lover's card is Gemini, right? So, you know... I feel like uh, when you reject this offer from this person or if you reject this offer from a person um, that is not moving with the intentions of your highest good uh, on their mind, I feel like you will have something or someone come toward you. Yep. Thank you, spirit. You may have someone that, that could be an Aquarius coming toward you. Um, this is someone uh, that's going to help you see the truth of who you are, what you want, how your life should be. Um, this person is going to pour into you. Um, they're going to show you that they have faith in you. They're going to support you, um, this energy, okay? Um, you know, the person that you're no longer with feels like, you know, that um, you are very superficial. We have the King of Wands in reverse, Okay, this is a very controlling person, bad tempered, right? They're arrogant, they're rude, they're loud, they're pushy, okay? Um, this is a person that's afraid to do things on their own. They're afraid to be different. They're afraid to move accordingly, okay? This is a person that does not make good decisions, all right? And this is what you're moving away from or you already have. This person could be paying someone in some way, okay? Um, for some of you, they could be consulting uh, people, trying to figure out what to do about the situation, right? This is Ace of Wands. Um, this is a person that may uh, not like your change of lifestyle, okay? So they may be talking about it to people, okay? This person also could find out that someone's pregnant or that someone had a child as well, okay? Um, they may know that someone had a child or they may... Find out that someone is is expecting. This is what I meant to say. All right. So this is an action. Okay. Um, this person is doing things for their highest good right now. Could be out here and could have had a one night stand or some sort of sexual encounter with someone that resulted in a child. Okay. Right. And they're telling people the yeah, they're they're mentally unstable or this person has mental issues. It is what it is, right? Five of Pentacles, they're gonna get that shit back. <sighs> Taurus energy, right? Whatever they're throwing at you, and they're saying that you don't have no money, that you, you know, you're a problem or that you have mental issues, this is going to be right back at them. This could be a person that's unemployed, or they may be, because they're going to start to get bad luck by all of the shit that they're throwing at someone. Yep. I feel like you're looking forward to life, that you're, you're anticipating things that are going to be happening to you. Uh, good, but I feel like this person is going to be kicking your back in, okay? So we got Aries energy here with you um, feeling like you're going forward and feeling like you're excited about it because things are changing, things are moving, you're experiencing growth, growth in money, growth in um, things that um, you feel are nurturing your life, but this person is not going to be able to handle it with this page of swords, they're really going to be talking shit about you, right? Um, they could be talking shit with you or picking fights with you in text messaging or email, okay, for some of you, all right? So this is what I have. I'm sending you guys love and light. You guys take care.